What's up guys, so I just recently got a lock and load I uh, bought this from Matani So it's not in a very good condition So my idea is to redo everything in the internals Maybe put a bridge like pop touchy And apparently there was a night finder plunger rod uh, it's like it's a it's a small little slight modification with a night finder plunger rod and another CPV. Notice I can, yeah, I can insert one push dart, one edit push dart. So honestly, the performance is not bad. Hold on. Yeah, that's another issue about this. But FPS wise, I I don't know. You take a look for yourself. It's very good. Hold on. It's good, not bad. So uh, I hope you guys stick around and see what I'm gonna do to this lock and lock. Okay, see you guys. Okay, guys. So I am sorry. I'm, I'm sick, so I sound very weird. Yeah, so, so I'm somewhat halfway. I'm still in the planning stage. Uh, I'm trying to make a bridge. Uh, basically, like what I told you was a pop touchy. Uh, brass bridge uh, lock and load so this is what is my idea this is 17 32 and 916 916 and it just sleeve in and yeah and the other one is which is special about this is this is 3d printed this whole catch is 3d printed uh, yeah so uh, it's hundred percent in view, so I'm still testing out. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of cool because okay, there's some glue that holds the plunger, it holds the nylon rod, O ring, and yeah, I drew this. I drew this myself. To took me a few tries, and yeah, so it's good. And with the plunger tube, it, it, it sits in well. You know, look at this. is perfect but still needs a little bit of e tape so yeah uh, we'll see how it goes and what else uh, oh yes the spring I'm still deciding what springs to use so this is a uh, thing not sure what spring I got it from the lock and load and sleep in the 8 kg spring then the other one is this long, this thick. It's a combination of a uh, uh, expand the blast, the green color expand the blast stock spring with uh, another six kg uh, OMW uh, retailer spring. So I'm gonna try this too. I'm gonna see which which of uh, which of these springs that it will hit the FPS highest. So yeah. Uh, I don't. I doubt I'm gonna make a scar barrel because I just this is just a pistol, so it doesn't really need any. Yeah, just for the fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, can you guys catch you guys later and bye. Okay, guys. So I'm somewhat done. Yeah, I think I'm hundred percent done with the lock and load. Uh, internals. Maybe it's more the refurbish. So what I did, like I said, it was a. Uh, brass bridge uh instead of having this nub that push the brass out but it's a uh, yeah so extended yeah yeah because i don't like to put the nubs because it's gonna interfere the smooth smoothness of this brass so and also uh it's uh, i'm just used to it in this manner so i think it's uh hold on so upgraded catch. It's gonna pop up. Yeah, basically, it's an upgraded catch, upgraded trigger spring. Then yeah, this is kind of nice. And I uh, mean, if you guys are interested, just let me know. So this is a 3D printed uh plunger rod. Yep, plunger rod and catch. So yeah, so it when you pull. When you pull it hits the hole over here and yeah and it's a o-ring so I decided to put o-ring 
because I have no access to a uh, rubber gasket for this so yeah and I sort of super glue the whole thing so it's very solid and it's dead there it's just yeah it's fixed already and of course the other thing is the spring rest that I'm not sure you guys can see it yeah, so, so I, I draw I drew out to cut a slot for the spring. This spring is a is a expand the blast spring with a retaliator version one eight, eight kg spring. So it's somewhat the draw and the compression rate is not there to cut out the a slot for the spring to rest all the way to this black 3d printed piece that somewhat is a rod guy and yeah and of course a nylon rod to you know make it yeah for a rod replacement all right so i'm gonna assemble back and uh then yeah, gonna do a firing dash hey so this is the firing demo of the lock and load i'm not gonna talk about the internals so because you all guys already watched the internals and what it has what it yeah, what I've done to it already. So, okay, so this is the bridge. Yeah, I kind of like this. Uh, it's much efficient and rather than just push the nub over there. So, uh, one thing is the nub you will break off like I what like what I said. And the good thing is that you know when once you glue it, it will in interfere the smoothness of the brass bridge so with this it doesn't affect anything and if let's say it, it, it jams just pull it out and just yeah so yeah this is this is 1732 barrel with a nice 16s and uh, this is the 3d printer bridge right so i'm gonna fire three darts uh so yep yeah, one is the waffle darts i think it's a cut down waffle darts and the other one is uh this it's not elite that it's a uh, i think it's called lily arms or some china darts which is a hard rubber tip and uh honestly i kind of like this because the foam is somewhat thick and yeah and the, the other one is the worker darts oh uh, yeah so the thing about worker darts is that uh the reason why there's this gap over here uh is because like when you uh yeah i went to spoke to the person the the, the worker guys himself uh when they came down to singapore well what happened was that when you cut the darts it won't be flat so you sometimes you'll be slight angle by a few 0, 0.0 mm or something so yeah so the kind of kind of a very uh genius idea that they ha have this uh extended yeah so but it, it works it works uh apparently when i tested out with this dust uh, it doesn't it doesn't need any uh scar barriers or something else and i tested out with the prophecy which is the sonic is i don't know is it a sonic it's a ice blue <coughs> prophecy and yeah it works it, it doesn't need any uh scar barrier All right so let's go on to the firing desk sorry i ramble too much because i want to Get, let you guys know what is this and that so okay so uh for this is not war practical because you have to prime open the bridge get your dart okay this is the worker dart push your dart in then you close and you fire okay this is the it looks like the elite dart so yep Uh, <clears throat> overall the, the power output is kind of good yeah it's, it's there's a kick eh? so I think it's because of the because of the spring I had so the spring inside is uh expand the blast and 8 kg so roughly about 12 uh, I don't know sorry the expand the blast is somewhat like 5 to 6 then plus 8 and then another yeah so uh, but I'm, I I don't think the the spring rates are uh, accurate. So I I'm assuming that it's more than ten to twelve. So yeah, I can't like it. Uh, future mods on this will be 
painted and of course fixing the bridge if you notice when i fire it will kind of like pop out a bit so yeah just kind of do something else with it and of course redo the shell because i got it from atani and you see the first part it wasn't really in, in the very good condition so yeah the seal wise it's uh, yeah it's 70 to 80 percent but the output is there so yeah so really i kind of like this mod and i really learned a lot about vintage blasters and how it really you know it looks different and how they work back then like their catch system is different so and so forth and of course thanks to nerf haven uh no uh how they like they really gave us a lot of knowledge and the write-up to understand how it works so if you do check and on my facebook uh benny mods i do i do take pictures of the internals like the process of how i do this so you guys can take a look it's somewhat a write-up so please go and like the page follow the page i'm selling some stuff you can you guys can go and take a look uh and of course please subscribe and really thanks for watching and i hope to show you guys more because i really have a lot of plans to show you guys uh, more blaster to show you so yeah still stick around and have a good day